George Tyrell S. J. The 6th of February 1861 to the 15th of July 1909 was an Irish Jesuit priest until his expulsion from the society and a modernist theologian and scholar. His attempts to evolve and adapt Catholic theology in the context of modern ideas made him a key figure in the modernist controversy within the Roman Catholic Church in the late 19th century. Topic: Life Tyrell was born on 6 February 1861 in Dublin, Ireland, and was brought up as an Anglican. His father was a journalist who died shortly before Tyrell was born. Tyrell grew up poor. He converted and was received into the Catholic Church in 1879. He immediately applied to join the Society of Jesus, but was advised by the provincial superior to wait a year. He spent the interim teaching at Jesuit schools in Cyprus and Malta. Joining the Jesuits in 1880, Tyrell was ordained to the priesthood in 1891. After a brief period of pastoral work, he taught philosophy at Stonyhurst, where he came into conflict with some of the faculty for not adhering to the traditional Jesuit approach to Thomas Aquinas, which was heavily influenced by the work of Francisco Suarez. In 1896, he was transferred to the Jesuit house on Farm Street in London. It was while at Farm Street that Tyrell discovered the work of Maurice Blondel. In 1899 he published A Perverted Devotion in which he argued that the rationalist approach of the scholastics was not applicable to matters of faith. Tyrell found himself assigned to a small mission in Yorkshire. Asked to repudiate his theories in 1906, Tyrell declined and was dismissed from the Society of Jesus by Superior General Franz X. Werns. Pope Pius X's 1907 encyclical Pacendi Dominici Gregis condemned modernism. Tyrell contributed two letters to the Times critical of the encyclical and was subsequently excommunicated. Tyrell argued that most biblical scholarship and devotional reflection, such as the quest for the historic Jesus, involves elements of self-conscious self-reflection. His famous image, criticizing Adolf von Harnack's liberal Protestant view of scripture, is of peering into a well, in which we see our own face reflected in the dark water deep below. The Christ that Harnack sees, looking back through 19 centuries of Catholic darkness, is only the reflection of a liberal Protestant face, seen at the bottom of a deep well. He argued that the Pope should not act as an autocrat but a spokesman for the mind of the Holy Spirit in the Church. Tyrell was disciplined under Pope Pius X for advocating the right of each age to adjust the historica philosophical expression of Christianity to contemporary certainties, and thus to put an end to this utterly needless conflict between faith and science which is a mere theological bogey." He was suspended from the sacraments the following year and finally excommunicated in 1908. He died the following year, still considering himself to be a devout Catholic. Tyrell was the only Jesuit to be expelled by a Jesuit general in the 20th century until the Spanish Father General, Pedro Arup, expelled Huab Osterhaus in 1969. Modernism played a major role in both cases. With the condemnation of modernism, first in the 65 propositions of the decree Lamentabili Saint Exitu in July 1907 and then in the encyclical Pacendi Dominici Gregis in September 1907, Tyrell's fate was sealed. He was deprived of the sacraments, described by Peter Amigo, Bishop of Southwark, as a minor excommunication for his robust criticisms of Pacendi which appeared in the Times on 30 September and 1 October 1907. In his rebuttal of Pius X's encyclical, Tyrell alleged that the Church's thinking was based on a theory of science and on a psychology that seemed as strange as astrology to the modern mind. Tyrell accused Pacendi of equating Catholic doctrine with scholastic theology and of having a completely naive view of the idea of doctrinal development. He furthermore asserted that the encyclical tried to show the modernist that he was not a Catholic, but all it succeeded in doing was showing that he was not a scholastic. He was given extreme unction on his deathbed in 1909, but as he refused to abjure his modernist views was denied burial in a Catholic cemetery. 
A priest, his friend Henri Bremond, who was present at the burial made a sign of the cross over Tyrell's grave, for which Bremond was temporarily suspended a divinis by Bishop Amigo for some time. A near contemporary account places most of the blame for the disagreement between the modern Catholic philosophers and the Vatican on the then Papal Secretary of State, Cardinal Mary de Valls, a reconciliable and reactionary attitude. According to Michael Hurley S.J., Tyrell's views were in large part vindicated by the Second Vatican Council. Topic selected writings topic Hard sayings, a selection of meditations and studies, Longmans, Green and Co., 1898 External Religion, Its Use and Abuse, B. Herder, 1899 The Faith of the Millions 1901 Lex Orandi, or, Prayer and Creed, Longmans, Green and Co., 1903 Lex Credendi, a sequel to Lex Orandi, Longmans, Green and Co., 1906 Through Skyla and Charybdis, or, The Old Theology and the New, Longmans, Green and Co., 1907 A Much much abused letter, Longmans, Green, and Co., 1907 Medievalism, a reply to Cardinal Mercier, Longmans, Green, and Co. 1908 The Church and the Future, The Priory Press, 1910 Christianity at the Crossroads, Longmans, Green and Co., 1910 Autobiography and Life of George Tyrell, Edward Arnold, 1912 Essays on Faith and Immortality, Edward Arnold, 1914 Nova et Vitera, Informal Meditation Articles, The Clergy and the Social Problem, The American Catholic Quarterly Review, Vol. 22, 1897. The Old Faith and the New Woman, The American Catholic Quarterly Review, Vol. 22, 1897. The Church and Scholasticism, The American Catholic Quarterly Review, Vol. 23, 1898. Topic references topic, topic Further reading topic Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Tyrell, George. Encyclopædia Britannica. 27 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Ing. William Ralph. 1919. Roman Catholic Modernism, in, Outspoken Essays. London, Longmans, Green & Co., pp. 137-171, Marr, Anthony M. 2018. The Forgotten Jesuit of Catholic Modernism, George Tyrell's Prophetic Theology, Minneapolis, Augsburg Fortress Press. May, J. Lewis 1932. Father Tyrell and the Modernist Movement. London, Eyre and Spottiswood. Moore, J. F. 1920. The Meaning of Modernism. The University Magazine, Vol. 19, No. 2, pp. 172-178. Petra, Maud. 1912. Autobiography and Life of George Tyrell. London, E. Arnold. Ratte, John. 1967. Three Modernists, Alfred Loisy, George Tyrell, William L. Sullivan. New York, Sheed and Ward. Rigg, James McCullen. 1912. Tyrell, George. In Lee, Sydney. Dictionary of National Biography, 1912 Supplement. London, Smith, Elder & Co. Root, John D. 1977. English Catholic Modernism and Science, The Case of George Tyrell. The Haythrop Journal, Vol. 18, No. 3, pp. 271-288. Sagovsky, Nicholas. 1990. On God's Side, A Life of George Tyrell. Oxford, Clarendon Press. Sagovsky, Nicholas. Tyrell, George 1861-1909. Oxford Dictionary of National Biography Online ed. Oxford University Press. doi.10.1093, ref, ODNB, 36606, subscription or UK public library membership required, Savage, Allen 2012. The Avant-Garde. Theology of George Tyrell, Its Philosophical Roots Changed My Theological Thinking, CreateSpace.com Schultenover, David G. 1981. George Tyrell, In Search of Catholicism. Shepherdstown, West Virginia, Patmos Press. Wells, David F. 1972. The Pope as Antichrist, The Substance of George Tyrell's Polemic, Harvard Theological Review, Vol. LXV, No. 2, pp. 271-283. Wells, David F. 1979. The Prophetic Theology of George Tyrell. Chico, C.A., Scholars Press. Utz, Richard 2010. Pi o Us Medievalism vs. Catholic Modernism, The Case of George Tyrell, in, The Year's Work in Medievalism, Vol. 25, Eugene, Oregon, WIPF and Stock Publishers, pp. 6-11. 
Topic external links topic brief biographical notes on George Tyrell Michael Morton Catholic Modernism 1860 to 1914 International Catholic University James Hitchcock Introduction to Modernism George Tyrell among essays headed note most of the works dealing with modernism are sympathetic to the modernists and students should maintain a critical stance towards the assigned readings Works by George Tyrell at Project Gutenberg Works by or about George Tyrell at Internet Archive